um, do. I interviewed a yeah. uh, Air Force colonel who served at NORAD headquarters, and he uh, he told me a story one day of, of showing up to work, and everybody was on their feet in the uh, in the command center looking at the big screen, and there was a UFO coming down from the Arctic from the far north along the eastern seaboard of Canada towards the U.S. And uh, according to Colonel Cobb, the uh, commander in chief said, I want that thing. And they had everybody scrambling, putting everything in the air that they could that was on strip alert to go after it. And uh, they couldn't get a radar lock on. They couldn't get close to it. It went all the way down the East Coast and then out over Cuba and South, maneuvered away from the Air Force interceptors. And um, they, they couldn't get a lock on. But those kinds of things we know have been happening for a long time. How fast was it moving? That, I asked him that, and he didn't recall uh, exactly, but even when our fighters on Stripler were being launched, uh, you know, well in advance of its trajectory, uh, they were not able to get in front of it or, or get, get close enough to it to get radar lock on. And so we, um, the Russians have been sending bear bombers at us doing this for 50 years, and we send our bombers at them. I mean, we've been doing this back and forth. I mean... And I, I, that's what I did when I was an F-16 pilot. You, you can intercept airplanes. It's not rocket science. <laughs> yeah, mean, this, was, this was not a bear bomber for sure. The, these speeds yeah. were well, well in excess of, of anything that uh, the bear bombers are, are going to be capable of. And the, and, uh, and, their, and the fighter radars couldn't lock onto it. Right. And that's pretty long range. I mean, if you can go down the whole East Coast past Cuba, that's a long range. That's... That's not a drone, or you know, maybe it's a global hawk, but they're going 200 knots indicated. Um, yeah. Now this is, and there are other cases that are even uh, even more extraordinary um, in that regard.